so it's morning and yeah I look like it's morning don't I um, I just got a call from the internet company uh, the guys at Asahi Net and they said well your internet is uh, well they're supposed to be installing it in the building soon and so we should have stuff for you maybe in the next month but well they should inform us that it's done in the next month and then then we can put in your order and it takes about two weeks from that point. It's like six weeks to get internet, that's a very long time. I told her it's a very frustratingly long time. She was talking to the woman next to her uh, about it. I said, you know, I've seen them installing at the building. And so I talked them into calling the people in the building here and seeing what the progress is. Because I saw those guys on the 20th floor last week. Um, at least last week, if not the week before. And I'm just trying to circumvent the paperwork, and if I get it done, then it's going to be really cool. Um, I got them to call the people for the building to find out about how far along things actually are. If it's right, if I'm right about how this is actually going, you know, they finish the job, they do their paperwork that says they finished the job, they send it to one person who then sends it to the head office, who then sends it to the operator. That takes several weeks, and that's what's going to take a long time. So if we skip all that, I may get internet in two to three weeks rather than four to six weeks, which would be really nice, because that means I can put these videos online and you can see them, and and I don't have to, you know, go out and pick up random internet signals to check my email, or go to internet cafes a couple times a week, which is expensive. Um, even the cheap seats at internet cafes are expensive. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, later. Okay, it's Friday morning, um, and I have oh, all this mess of papers, which has been a huge process. Um, this is applying for new jobs. So, each company that I'm applying with right now, I have one of these sheets for, which tells me what they're looking for, what they're willing to pay, where they are, well, how big the company is, how much they make, how many employees they have, what kind of work it is, what kind of skills you need. Um, so I get these from the Hello Work office, and then when I say, yeah, I'd like to apply to this company, they call the company, and they do a little introduction, and they ask if it's okay if I send a resume. So the company said it was okay, um, or at least three companies said it was okay. So they then fill out one of these postcards, um, the Hello Work office does, and this is kind of a feedback postcard for them to let, you know, to let them know how I did with each company. Um, so I mail this with everything else. Now, the things that I need to mail. Um, this one is the archaic Japanese-style handwritten resume. It tells you where I went to school and where I worked and a couple things about me. It has an ugly picture of me. Um, and then other skills I have, hobbies, interests, uh, you know, skills that I can... You know, these are not skills. These are certifications than skills. Um, and then just other things about what kind of salary I want and what kind of commuting time it takes. So that's all written out, painstakingly. Um, you can't type that. They want it handwritten. So I wrote one copy, had someone check it over, and then reviewed it. Um, well, had them fix it, and then recopied it onto the other page. And then there's my resume in Japanese. And that picture looks so much better. Um, that's why I put it on there. Even though it's not the same... Uh, it's not this straight-on profile shot, which just, I mean, compare. Mug shot, nice person shot. I kind of need to get both in there. And then I'm putting in my resume in English, um, which is a translated version of the Japanese one without the picture. And then a little personal statement uh, about why they should hire me, what kind of a person I am, um, what I'm looking for in, in work. So have that all done for three different companies now. Um, and I'm mailing all those off uh, here in about 20 minutes or so. Um, it's Friday, so they should get them probably on Monday because they're all in the city. They're all... Longest commuting time I think is going to be 25 minutes, 22 minutes, something like that, um, to get to any one of these. So hopefully these will give me interviews. Um, they all pay reasonably well. Uh, they all involve using some English. Um, one of them wasn't even in the foreigner's pool of uh, 
jobs to apply for. It was in the, the Japanese pool. You know, it was like, we, these are jobs for Japanese people. But this one involves English. So, uh, so we called him up and said, hey, do you mind if a foreigner applies? Said, no, not at all. We need someone who speaks some English. Um, and I think I'm fine at doing you know, 650 or better on the TOEIC. Um, probably not a problem. Um, my, my problem with any one place is whether or not I can convince them that I have the Japanese to get by in their company. And whatever field it is, I'm sure immediately I don't have the immediate Japanese to do really well in their company. But inside of a month of working there, I will have it. And I'll be doing just fine. And I also have, you know, once I pick, once any one company picks me, I'll then have a month, you know, while my visa change is going through to study stuff from that place. I was thinking I may just ask them if I can come in and hang out at the office just to hear what's going on. Get an idea. Um, they wouldn't have to pay me. I wouldn't really be doing work officially. Um, but just to know what's going on. And because they're always, it's subject specific. Um, one of these is a is for a lawyer um, and investigating patents. Um, I know, me and patent stuff. Um, one's for an import company, one's for an export company. Um, and then uh, I'm looking at applying to an electronics company too. So imports, exports, electronics, I think one of the imports or exports is, uh, no, that was one that I didn't, that they wanted someone with experience for the com cosmetics company. But still, different subject matter for each one. So it's hard to really study any one so much that I can get in immediately and do great. But as soon as one picks me, I can study up on the language for that and I'll do fine. Um, so I just have to convey that. Okay, gonna get these in the mail um, and then clean up my apartment. This is just too much of a mess.